This video is going to show you how to export and import your FileZilla settings and the site manager information. Now let's put on our pretend hat just for a second and let's pretend that we've got a whole bunch of custom settings in our FileZilla and we've got a bazillion different domains set up in our My Sites section of the site manager and we just purchased a new laptop or a new computer and we don't want to go through all the headaches of setting up all these things manually in the new computer. Well, fret not because you don't have to. Let's go ahead and delete these guys. Oh, wait, we got to export first before we put on our pretend hat. Okay, so close that out. And what we want to do is come up here to File, go to Export, choose the items that you want to export. Now, there's nothing in the queue down here, so we don't have to check that. We want to export settings, you know, in case you've got any custom settings in here, you know, server, transfer, bookmarks, whatnot. And we want to export all the goodies from our site manager. Click on OK and it asks us where do we want to download our little XML file to and it gives it a little FileZilla name. You can name it whatever you want but as so long as you leave it as an XML file. Click on save. Boom. Done. Good. And now then we want to come on in here to our site manager. Delete that guy. Yep. Delete this guy. Yep. And now then we want to pretend that we are on a brand new computer and we've downloaded and installed our brand new FileZilla software. Let me go ahead and disconnect here from the server. Nope. Oh, okay, we're good. Actually, let's just uh, restart FileZilla from scratch. There we go. Now then, let's just check out our site manager. Come on up here, and we can see there's nothing in there. And click on Cancel. Now then, we come on up here to File again, and where we exported it, now we just want to import it. And we want to navigate to the location where we've got our little FileZilla.xml file stashed away. And select that, click on Open. And it asks us what do we want to do here. And that's been done. It says we have to restart FileZilla, but really we don't. Anyway, just click on OK. And the selected categories have been imported. Cool. OK. And now then if we just come on up here to File, Site Manager, there they are. And you can see all the settings are the same. Click on Connect. And we're good to go. And that is how you can save a whole lot of time especially if you've got a whole lot of information in the original location of your FileZilla software you can now export and then import all of that data into your new FileZilla installation thanks for watching you have a great day